Hello and welcome. In this particular video, I just walk you through one interesting interview question. Recently, I came across, and the question is: uh, Can we implement a NOT gate using AND? So uh, I tried a lot uh, creating the NOT gate using AND gate, but I found that uh, it is not possible to create the uh, NOT gate using AND gate. But we can implement a NOT gate by using the universal gate that is NAND or NOT, and also we can implement a NOT gate using multiplex. We'll try to understand. It. Before moving to that, let me explain you the truth table. As you can see over here, the truth table for the NOT gate and symbol. So, A if we are applying the output will be A bar. So, A can be anything. If A is equal to zero, output will be bar of that. That is one. If A is equal to one, output will be zero, meaning the bar of that. This is what a NOT gate, and this is the symbol of that NOT gate, and this is what a truth table for. Now let me show you uh, if we are considering a uh, AND gate, can we implement a NOT gate? Of course not, but we can implement a buffer using AND gate. How? Uh, I will I will explain you first. So as you can see, this is what the symbol for the AND gate. Okay. Uh, let's consider uh, as you know the output table for the AND gate if any input is 0 as you can see over here output will be 0 ok so for AND gate both the input should be 1 or high if we are considering 2 input AND gate then only output will be 1 as you can see over here ok now let's consider this is the AND gate to input AND gate and we'll take a very simple example let's see this uh, B terminal is a strobe or control terminal for us if we connect this to VCC or you can consider it 1 over here what will happen what is the you know output for us in this case let's say the other terminal A is equal to 0 if A is equal to 0 and B is connected or tied to 1 or VCC, output will be 0. Okay. If A is equal to let's say 1, okay, output will be 1 because the other terminal is connected to 1. Okay. What it means? If we are connecting the another terminal, other terminal, or you can consider this it, uh, as a stroke terminal or control terminal to logic one, whatever the input we are applying, we are getting that same in the output. Meaning, if we are connecting the control terminal or stroke terminal of the AND gate to input AND gate to logic one or VCC it worked as a buffer ok so we can use and get as a buffer if we connect this input uh, you know stroke input to let's say ground or logic 0 what will be the output in this case if the other terminal which is a is equal to 0 and the B which is a stop for this AND gate is tied to 0 or ground then output will be 0 if A 1 then output will be 0 because the other terminal is connected to 0 so this is you know called as control 0 disable okay. so if we are connecting the strobe or control terminal to zero this is becoming uh, you know disable it 
it will not work even though we are applying 1 or 0 at the input output will be 0 always it is also referred as control 0 decibel and here you can understand it is control 1 enable okay another way to use AND gate uh, as a you know buffer if you just tie this both input or shorted these two terminals of AND gate you will find output will be A only so if A is equal to 0 output will be 0 if A is equal to 1 output will be 1 this is also working as a buffer now let me show you uh, the OR gate ok as you know the truth table for OR gate if it is to input an OR gate then the output will be 1 1 1 in this case right and output will be 0 both the input will be 0 for or gate now let me explain you the uh, you know simple symbol for that the symbol for or gate is like this to input or gate and output will be a plus of b and this is for the truth table for that okay now let's uh, take how we can uh, use this or get as a buffer let's try to understand that if this control terminal let's say this is a control terminal for us and if we connect this uh, or get one terminal to let's say uh, you know zero if we just made it as a ground or zero then other terminal let's say a for our uh, in our case and this is what the output y so if we made it as a zero if we are applying input as a other on the other terminal as zero output will be zero and if we applying one here at a terminal output will be 1 so this is what you know uh, called as control 0 enable whereas the AND gate is a control 0 disable remember but OR gate is a control 0 enable and as you can see over here if you just analyze this if we connecting the stroke terminal of OR gate to 0 or ground output will be equal to the input which is applying at another, another terminal so this is referred as a buffer OR gate is working as a buffer over here now if we just consider the same OR gate and if we are connecting this uh, terminal to let's say VCC or you can consider at logic 1 and if we are applying 0 at another terminal output Y will be 1 if we are applying 1 at A input output will be 1 over here right so this is what uh, you know control 1 disable you can refer control 1 disable if you are applying 1 at the stroke terminal and if you are applying anything at other terminal A output will be 1 only okay. so this is what the concept of you know OR gate and AND gate
how we can make use of this OR gate and N gate as a buffer to input AND gate in OR. Now let me show you how we can implement NOT gate using 2 cross 1 max. Okay. It is very simple. Let's consider we have this uh, 2 cross 1 multiplication. I hope you are aware about this. Already I have uploaded a video on multiplexer as a universal logic. You can go through that video for detail analysis. <clears throat> this is what a 2 uh, cross 1 multiplexer. Let's say this select line as a A over here. And if we apply 1 and 0 over here, you will find output will be A bar. Let's try to you know solve this multiplex. So this A over here, it is uh, you know multiply with zero will be A bar, right? A bar into one plus this A, which is multiplied to one, is you know A and we are multiplying with this 0 right so will be 0 only anything multiply with 0 is 0 right so this is what a bar into 1 which is equal to a bar okay so this is what you can use to cross one multiplexer as a not gate uh, not gate you can implement a not gate using 2 cross 1 multiplex. Now let me show you how to implement NOT gate using universal uh, you know logic, universal gates. Uh, what are the universal logics we have universal logic gate? One is let's say NAND gate okay and if we are just connecting if we are just shorting these two inputs of this NAND gate and connecting A over here, we'll find output will be A bar. Similarly, using NOR gate, the symbol of NOR gate is like this to inputs NOR gate. And if you are just shorting this two terminal and applying, let's say, OA over here, output will be A bar. Very simple. So, this is what the you know, simple explanation of not get using universal uh, logic gates and also using two cross one multiplex and one question that can we you implement a not get using and get so the answer is no but we can implement the buffer using and get as well as for get so with this i hope you have understood uh, this concept completely and also I hope you enjoyed this video. So thanks for watching. Thank you.